So in chapter two, box fights suddenly became a huge part of the Fortnite meta, and they've only gotten more important over time. Like if you aren't able to box fight with the best, you're putting yourself at a huge disadvantage. But your crunch Tommy, where you at? Your motivation guy is back, and today we're teaching you three box fighting tips that's gonna help you improve and take your game to the next level, all right? But before we dive into the tips, all right, I gotta remind you to join our Discord, where we're starting up a new series of scrims to help you, the Bunch of Crunch Army, improve. You guys gotta check it out in the description, all right? Here we go, let's get this going. All right, guys, Bunch of Crunch Army. So the first tip that we're gonna talk about today is pre-firing. Now, all right, you might be thinking, like, what exactly is pre-firing in Fortnite? <laughs> in any other game, you know, it would be firing at where you think an opponent is, even before you see them, you know, come around a corner. In Fortnite, it's pretty similar, but kind of different, too. So pre-firing in Fortnite is when you shoot your AR, shotgun, or even a sniper at your enemy when you think they're about to make an edit or just try to do damage to you. So being able to deal damage to your enemy before they're able to react or in some cases even see you can be a major turning point in a fight and it's definitely something that you want to master if you want to hit the higher ranks of playing Fortnite. So the major benefit of being able to consistently pre-fire your enemies is that you're going to be able to deal more damage to your opponents than they can deal to you in a shorter amount of time. For example, all right, if an enemy player takes your wall and then tries to do a simple edit on you and you manage to predict that, you're going to be able to blast most of their health away with a shotgun before they even get their weapon back out. When box fighting, okay, if you look closely at your enemy, you're going to be able to see them take their build map out and just put their weapon away. However, if you pay the closest attention when the player is about to confirm an edit, their pencil will actually start to move downward as the game confirms the input. So this is your moment, guys, to strike, all right? Like when done correctly, as the player opens up their edit, you would have already have shot your shotgun and dealt a significant amount of damage. So if you're able to really time this absolutely perfect, right? That's come with practice. You know, you're gonna be able to deal major damage to your opponent just as they complete their edit, which is gonna allow you to really catch them off guard. And it's also gonna allow you to then go for a different wall or disengage the fight entirely if you don't think the fight is worth taking. Of course, if you get really lucky, he might even be able to, you know, just simply one shot them with your shotgun. So to practice your pre-fire skills, all right, we would suggest just hopping into a creative game with some of your friends and do some box fights, you know, try to learn all the different angles people tend to peek from while box fighting, and then just try to pre-fire those angles. Eventually, it's gonna become like muscle memory and really as soon as you see that pencil moving down you're gonna be able to really rip your opponent's health away all right guys so if you're still having trouble with pre-firing or anything else man you already know what to do you gotta head on over to proguides.com where we've got an innovative vod review system that's gonna help you improve so fast by getting pros to review your games it's amazing so watching out for edits isn't the only time that you can pre-fire your opponents like if your enemy is pickaxing your wall and your wall is one shot. All right, wait for the enemy player to pull out their pickaxe again. And as they try to swing and try to replace the wall, shoot your shotgun. It's the exact same principle, right? Like they're gonna take the wall and your shot will hit them dead on, which will obviously deal a significant amount of damage, which will probably provoke your opponents to retreat to heal, leaving you with the time to pop your own heals or chase after them. So this also applies to situations when your enemies are inside your box and spraying the ramp that you're holding. So when you can see that the ramp is very low on HP, all right, as it breaks, you should shoot your gun just as it comes down before rebuilding the ramp. This way, you should be able to deal damage and gain some control over the fight. All right, so the second tip that we're gonna be showing off today is a bit of a confusing one, all right? It's the ability to place builds through other players' builds. I know, like, what does that mean, right? Well, it's a surprisingly easy and effective way to really set the tempo of a box fight. So, have you ever been playing Arena and the guy that you're fighting just has the best ping ever and you simply just cannot take the wall because of the difference in internet quality? Well, instead of just taking the guy's wall, have you ever tried to place a stair in his box? You know, way back in chapter one, Epic placed a nerf on the turbo building setting in Fortnite, meaning there is a delay when building things like walls. And what this means is that during the split second delay, you can actually place stairs and cones right through your opponent's walls. So what we need to do is really get the wall weak. You know, it really doesn't matter if you're using your harvesting tool or a gun, just get the wall's HPs right down. Like when you finally break through that wall, all you need to do is really just build a ramp looking into their box, right? I mean, it might not work straight away, but if you keep trying, guys, I promise you, you're going to get it. Don't give up, all right? Now I get it. I mean, this doesn't exactly sound very impactful to a box fight, does it? <laughs> sure, I mean, you have some stairs in their box, but what does that actually do for you? Good question. 
Well, the primary benefit is that this will most likely put them off balance and panic, meaning that they're pretty likely just to try and extend out into a new box. And this gives you the chance to really peace control them from different angles depending on which direction they go. Fortnite guys, it's all about pressure and control. Like if you manage to sneak some stairs into their box, you're controlling the space and applying pressure with your pieces. Okay, so if this technique is done correctly, you're gonna be able to end fights much faster and conserve your mats and heals while you do it. All right guys, our last tip today is a very, very simple one and it can really be used in pretty much any type of fight in Fortnite, really. You know, it doesn't really matter if you're fighting in a house or or a box or just straight up in a build fight. Knowing about the right hand peak, guys, is vital for success in Fortnite. Like it allows you to win a ton of different fight situations by dealing damage without taking nearly as much damage in return. So it's just something that we highly suggest that you begin applying it to your gameplay like as soon as possible. Basically, all right, a right hand peek allows players to shoot opponents that they can see as long as the camera is above their right shoulder. The benefit of attacking your opponents from a right hand peek becomes pretty obvious pretty quickly. I mean, you have the advantage by being able to see your opponents clearly while they don't really have the vision on you. And this means that you can deal some heavy damage while most of their shots will probably end up missing. So setting up a right hand peek is pretty simple, right? Like, which is another reason this technique should be picked up by basically everybody. I mean, all you really need to do, guys, is just be behind a wall on the left hand side. If an enemy player is right in front of you, you're going to be able to hit them, you know, while having cover protecting you from any sort of damage. However, you shouldn't entirely just let your guard down while you're right hand peeking. Like if the player you're fighting against moves over to the left, they could easily just remove that peek advantage that we're relying on and then make the fight a 50-50, which you definitely don't want. So a right hand peek, however, can really be best set up in box fights incredibly easily. Like the best right hand peek the community knows about right now is the top arch edit, where you edit the two tiles on either top left or right of the wall and then the tile directly below. So by creating this edit, guys, you're able to generate a lot of cover while also having the right hand peak advantage to deal a significant amount of damage. So if you're using this peak, you also should try to jump into the very top side of the wall that you just edited because it's going to provide an extra level of protection from players trying to counter damage to you. All right, but your crunch army, let's recap everything that we learned in this video. All right, box fighting has become a major part of the Fortnite pro scene over the past chapter. So learning how to deal with them efficiently, yo, it's a must. One way to get the jump on your opponent is by pre-firing. Watch your opponent's build map and really make sure to keep track of that pencil moving downwards so you can get a sneaky bit of damage off on your enemy. Next up, my friends. All right, you should be trying to counter build by taking advantage of the build delay inherent to the game. Like when you take a wall, don't always place a wall if you're at a ping disadvantage. Create positive pressure by throwing a cone or a ramp down into your opponent's box. Finally, master the right hand peak, guys. It's it's really just a nice and easy way to really give yourself an advantage of your opponent, and it should be and it should be utilized at any opportunity. Don't let your guard down though, because if you do, and you're not paying attention, your advantage can be easily be switched to a 50/50, which we definitely don't want. So becoming a box fighting master isn't an easy process. And like all things in Fortnite, man, it's gonna take time for you to properly incorporate these, you know, into your play style. So guys, one of the most important things that you have to really incorporate in your life is patience. You have to be patient with yourself because in order to be great, it takes time to be great. It doesn't happen overnight. So I just wanna encourage you guys to take your time, enjoy the journey because you're headed for greatness. Hey, if you guys liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel and connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. I believe in you. I'll see you soon.